This was a disappointment. Ugh. Brand help. <laughs> Where is he? What do you need? <laughs> I jumped on the couch and I landed like this. Why? <laughs> because I could. Are you stuck? It's stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck. Help him. Oh dear. Go go down here. One, two. <laughs> Thanks, man. Don't mention it. No, no really. It's, 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 hey, you see that pile of ugly on the TV screen? You're watching that. Okay. It's a new reaction video. I set up the camera and everything. You set it up when I was sleeping? No, I found it in our bed last night and I thought I decided to do a video. Why was it, what, what, what was it doing in our bed? I have no idea. I, so, you, so I woke you up with it? I woke up in the middle of the night with, and I, I woke up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat and I thought to myself, when was the last time I had it could only hit the back of my throat? And I turned, I turned around to ask if we had it any more purple flirp. And then there was a camera, camera I turned to. And like, we haven't done a video in a while, or uh, another stupid reaction video that nobody watches. Let's make another shitty one. And now, and there's this whole channel I've been watching for 300 months now, and with plenty of videos you probably haven't seen, but I picked one that's definitely going to give you cancer. What is it? going to watch it. What is it, though? Before I tell you, hey everybody, it's Gamer Bros HD. I'm Brandon, this is Daniel, we're doing another reaction video. Oh, what, are you drunk now? Uh, it, it, no. <laughs> hey guys, it's Gamer Bros HD, I'm Daniel, this is Brandon, we're doing another reaction video, and I'm showing him another video, kind of like, it's another one of those times where I did that John Cena reaction video, and I showed him, and he showed me a video, and... We, we're, we went up from there. We're basically doing it over again. You know, we're basically sharing videos with each other. So yeah! We're gonna do it again. It's his turn now. What are we doing now? <laughs> we are doing a video by the, the best top tenor I've ever seen in a while. What are you doing with your body? I do not know. I think I'm a GMOP animation. Okay, stop though. Okay. It's by... It's by a Canadian Australian man by, by the name of Phantom Strider. Link for his channel is in the description if you want to check out some of his videos. I put, it's, I, right, it's right here between us. Right yeah, here. I put a few of I put a few of my favorite videos in the description if you guys want to check him out. He's actually a really kind guy. And this video I'm gonna show you is the most cancerous one he's made. Yet it's one of the best. Kind of. I mean I would, he makes a lot of good points. He he puts a lot of effort into his script, so he's very vocabulary. -ic. Yeah. <laughs> this video is his top 10 worst animated ripoffs or mockbusters. I prefer to say it as mockbusters because it says it in the video rather than the title on the thumbnail. Yeah, I say Ghostbusters. Go <laughs> Stop with the Ghostbusters. You've been into that for a long while now. I love Ghostbusters. It's been around for 30 Your years. Your medic costume is a Ghostbuster, bitch. <laughs> anyway. Thank you. We're going. Yes. One, two, four. I said four? <laughs> Now, bring on the ripoff. Welcome to a world of jumbled CG, rambling disjointed dialogue, and stories that would be an insult to the legally insane. 
Yes. Welcome to the nightmare that is Mockbusters. Yes. Many cartoons will pay homage to an original piece of animation, like follow-ups from Toy Story. Then there's just these 20 cent budget imitation rip-offs that shamelessly attempt to capitalize on the well-intentioned grandma. Oh, so yeah, let's check out the top question. 10 worst animated mockbusters. We'll revisit some old animation, as well as checking out some new animation. Also, halfway through making the video, I noticed that another channel had already covered this list recently. I was thinking of cancelling production, but decided that, hopefully, my list can at least offer a bit of a different perspective. Anyway, on to the countdown. For number 10, The Little Panda Fighter. They're ripping off Kung Fu Panda. My advisor said you might not know what you are tripping off. All time. That advisor is now fired. This one was produced by the notorious Video Brinquedo, an evil Brazilian directed DVD company intent on swindling every grandma in the bingo studio. Uh -huh. Where to start with Panda Fighter? Like we have music that sounds more like a piano being smashed with a sledgehammer than it does a coherent tune. <laughs> And of course, lip syncing was again. never even considered for a second. Screw timing it, right? Just slam that Kung Fu Panda lookalike out before Grandma puts her specs on. Yes. Little Panda Fighter stars the moldy heaping blob of CG, known as Pancada. And in order for the creator to show off his ability to use the Photoshop filters, Pancada turns his dojo into a disco. All the faces look very uncanny and strange in this one frozen expression, because most of the time they couldn't be bothered to animate a face different than about to pass gas in the Vatican. The only plus? The English dub tried desperately to save this flaming car heap by giving a performance that wouldn't make your gut wrench. Oh, sorry, Mr. Polaris, I guess they must have tripped it off for a second. But this is one car heap that had to be left to smolder. And coming in at number nine, what's up? Okay, take a guess what oh, this one is ripping off. Yes. Coincidentally enough, it was produced really like the up same up year as Up. Movies, almost as though it, was it might have got a little inspiration from it. I what a so. surprise. It's from our old friends, Video Brinquedo. Another amazing coincidence. It is my belief true. that Brinquedo never actually expected anyone to watch this. The they just figured they'd throw a bunch of discombobulated CG together, assuming that everyone would get to the DVD menu, realize their horrible mistake, and throw the DVD into the fire. Half the, the time, like What's Up doesn't down. even bother with moving characters or animation. It's filled with these long, awkward moments of complete silence. Young lady in our city, Amanda. It's like the voice actors stop to lament their life decisions while reading the script. The dialogue seems to have been written out in 10 minutes by someone with a kid. very distant grasp on the English language. Our starring voice cast include Michelle Gabriel, who starred in Comrades and What's Up, the movie we're currently watching. And that's it. That is literally the only actor listed for this movie. My guess is really? that anyone else involved in this project demanded to have their identities kept secret for fear of never working again. I heard the voice actor for Eggman in there too, but I'm guessing I did permanent damage to his career just by stating that. Unless you're planning on using it as a paperweight, leave What's Up lying in the bargain bin for all eternity. How's that even and for number eight, Kiara the Brave. Welcome to the Dream Zone. This hideous abomination of the animation universe is brought to you by Smita Maru from Mumbai. Now when you see this, you may think you're looking up the nose of your local car wash guy, but it actually turns out we're looking at Kiara the Brave's eyesore of a city and her modernly dressed people, despite being set in the medieval times. And the wizard has a laptop, because don't all wizards have a laptop? I don't blame the animators or voice actors, they're probably fresh oh, out of school, yeah, desperate for a first project. But these characters really are some of the most misshapen dregs of animation I've ever seen. The okay. characters 
jump and chop around the screen like Vanellope somehow glitched their animation software. <laughs> Occasionally when the seven planets align, awesome movie, the lip syncing will awesome almost match what was originally Pretty said. Rough. Kiara is plastered all over the advertising, but she doesn't actually seem to have Those that many appearances in the movie. It's almost as though they were just yeah. capitalizing on another franchise. Stop. Surely never. They even rip off Jesus too. That's just Wow, I, I guess sticking Jesus on your movie would allow more brand recognition? Like, I can never Jesus tell with Kiara the Brave if I'm looking at a broken CRT monitor or just a really ugly China doll. Either way, phone? these things are going to haunt oh, yeah. my nightmares for weeks. And the seventh worst animated mockbuster is Leo Lion, King of the Jungle. Fresh from the streets of South Korea comes Jetlag Productions, and they're here to give us the most repugnant defacing of the Lion King we can imagine. Jetlag Productions also brings us such classics as Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Hercules, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Jeebus, okay they've really That's got this formula get. down pat, don't they? They just recreate the box cover for every single popular Disney movie, and then put something resembling a cartoon inside it. After all, once they're playing it, they've obviously already bought it. So who cares? You remember that endless assault on your senses that was Felix the Cat the movie? Sure. Well, this new middle finger to the cartoon industry rivals even Felix the Cat. The visuals are so lazy and unpleasant to look at, that watching paint dry will suddenly seem like a refreshing, thrilling experience. If you must touch this deformed Lion King look-alike, do it with a 10-foot pole. And coming in at number 6, Jungle Book, by our old friends Jetlag Productions. This is Jungle Book, in the most insulting sense of the word possible. I'm just gonna call it Jetlag Jungle Book. Because the most entertaining part about oh, this movie is the name of the company that made it. It kind of gives me the comforting thought of flying away from bad movies like this. <laughs> is that meant to be Mowgli? He looks like he's been possessed by a bizarre alien body snatcher. There's little to say about this one. Jet Lag Jungle Book is essentially the I can't believe it's not Jungle Book that was universally banned as a visual poison by the FDA. And just to kick me twice in the nads, they make these poor voice actors sing their broken scripts out to assure that every child was screaming at their TV to stop. There's just nothing to say about the plot. You know who Mowgli's vaguely meant to be, as well as Baloo and Bragira. Go Bragira. watch Disney's Jungle Book or the live-action remake. But by all means, do not watch Jetlag Jungle Book. Both and the fifth the worst animated yeah. mockbuster is The Frog Princess, made by, you guessed it, Brinquedo. Oh no, they reversed the two words in the title. You mean this isn't Princess and the Frog? How I do they keep fooling me like this? The so Frog Princess somehow manages to be I'm, among I'm the most sure bland of the mockbusters, with our me. entire 40 minute story taking place in two rooms as our highly shallow, dead-eyed princess quarrels with a king and a frog for 40 minutes. You don't need to be afraid, my lady. There really is nothing else to the story. Their expressions Great or posture right or animation don't actually change. We have two voice actors for this movie. Great. One lady and, once again, four kids Eggman. Sorry, man. Now please prepare yourself to meet Prince Ziriguidum the two scenes for the Frog Princess seem to include the princess in her room and in the dining room. We never actually see outside like the castle, Hercules. but I suspect we're not missing out on that much. And for number four, Little Princess School. What do you say to a movie that can't even be bothered to animate a flag flickering for more than two frames? Little Princess School attempts to capitalize on what else? The Disney princess market. All of the princesses go to princess school so they can learn to be beautiful. 
That doesn't even make legitimate sense in a sentence. If your third grade teacher heard you using that kind of grammar, you get a severe talking to after class. <laughs> Produced by Morning Star Entertainment. I'd like to once again say that the most fascinating parts of these movies are the bizarre names of the companies churning them out. This time the creators just said, screw it. Maybe if we stick something resembling the princesses in one movie, surely someone's bound to mistake one of them for the real thing. I think even the criminally insane could term the difference between this Disney princess and the flat-faced garbage pail imitation princesses we have here. Like all good broken mockbusters, what the animation, animation just stutters seriously? about, and the voice acting the seems to be in a completely kind of... different universe to the actual animation occurring. What am I even watching? It's even a bad message. Mostly about the princess's strange, foreign, awkward alien methods to get guys to kiss them. You're right. It's strange. Does the demographic for Little Princess School even know what a kiss is? I'm not quite convinced the writers knew what a kiss was. In a one horse open sleigh, or the fields we go. Oh, come on. Or the fields or we go? They can't even get the song lyrics for Jingle Bells right? Freaking Jingle Bells? That's on par with botching up Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay, we've been subjected oh, to enough. Toes. I swear, I'll never oh. complain about Disney stereotyping princesses again. And the third worst animal blockbuster is An Ant's Life by UAV Corporation. Uh-oh, they changed the word bug from ant. This is... A really bad hair day for Flick. I thought Jet Lag <laughs> Productions was bad, but I had yet to witness the horror that was the dreaded UAV Corporation. I'm Josephine. Thankfully, an ant's life is mercifully short. At only 25 minutes, the creators <laughs> were gracious enough to not turn their demented eye torture into a full-length film. In fact, the original DVD was so horribly awful that they didn't even feel confident selling it on its own. It was packaged with a bunch of Warner Brothers cartoons because they knew they should be paying you to see this movie. And... Dee What even is this? Am I watching weird CG ant sex? And every colour is washed out like you're looking at a nuclear waste site. Real bugs are prettier than this. If you want to get out the door and out of your house, an ant's life is the movie to do it. You'll be so desperate to leave your house, you'll be tearing down your door and sprinting down the road in maddening terror. Lizard, and the Lizard second Lizard. worst animated mockbuster is Ratatoing. Bring Quedo is back, and they bring us their darkest. Worst creation of all time. But I've uh, mentioned Ratatouille before in worst animated movies, so uh, I'll be brief. But there really is just something uniquely cancer. awful about Ratatouille that separates it from all the rest. Its dialogue sounds more like well, a long, boring like tutorial this. teaching foreigners how to form basic coherent like English like sentences. The, the lips will flicker along from frame We're to good, frame, yeah. in Kill no way sentence. attempting to actually match the voices. Characters will randomly glitch up on screen and jump from one place to another. And it just goes on and Those on. Like Completely irrelevant, scare uninteresting me. restaurant banter is just basically continued for half the movie. And why? Why did they give the rats lady parts and make them wink to the camera? Was the creator trying oh to inspire God. rat cosplay? There is zero structure to Ratatouille. We jumped from one scene to the next, and it wasn't until I looked up a synopsis on the internet that I actually figured out what was going on. I will never understand why my favourite anime English voice actors chose to take part in this. I know English dubbers are poorly paid, but surely it would do them more harm than good to have this movie on their resume. Ratatouille. And before we get to number one, I'd like to do some quick dishonorable mentions. Dishonorable. Wings, a wonderful family movie that all ages will enjoy. Stated by the blind deaf hobo from down the road we paid a hamburger. 
Little and Big Monsters. Oh, Morningstar Entertainment. Ripping off Monsters vs. Aliens now? Whatever will we do with you? Uh, Tappy Toes. At least they bothered seen? to change two words yeah. of the title in this one. A fish tail. Actually, except for the title, it was actually really good. The animation reminded me of the Iron Giant. Well paced, well voice acted. I actually really enjoyed it. Chopkick Panda. Strangely enough, this was probably the best mockbuster I saw, with a likeable cast and pleasant voice acting. Even the animation is pretty smooth and pleasing, and the dialogue is kind of clever at times, so it certainly couldn't quite make the list. Frozen Land. <laughs> no, no they didn't. No freaking way did they get away with this. Oh, wait, yeah. Actually, they didn't get away with this one. Braver. They took Brave, and they added an R. Brilliant! <laughs> Give that man a million dollars. Actually, and yeah, with those uh, said, like, here we Elsa go. It, and the number like one it. worst animated mockbuster is... A Car's Life. It is among the worst animated movies, and I think it is THE worst animated mockbuster of all time. Welcome to the bottommost rung of our ladder into the pile of crap that is mockbusters. A place where voice acting is a momentary afterthought of verbal exclamations. <laughs> All colours resemble bodily fluids, and the animation is traumatisingly really bad enough to make honestly. Samurai Seppuku seem like a viable option. Welcome to A Car's Life. A Car's Life was made by one guy, most likely in a sweatshop while he was drunk. And notably, he was so ashamed of this Cars mockbuster that it is nearly impossible to find a single trace of Sparkplug Productions on the net. There really is no grasp of character personality, stories, stakes, or even a basic grasp of the English language in this animation black hole. Uh-oh, it's getting late. I know it's the middle of the day, what? but I can only be bothered to animate one frame in the sky. It's not even nighttime. There is one music soundtrack. Just one. It's about 10 seconds long, and it is just awful. And A Car's Life contains a voice so ear-piercing, so wretched, that it actually gives Fred and Annoying Orange a run for their money. They're still worse, but this voice is a close second. Because a car is a little different doesn't mean oh. a car... Could we not have possibly done, I don't know, two takes? But then, the evil villains very slowly approach them. Then they slowly start to lower their cranes on top of them. Our heroes could, of course, I don't know, move away from them? But I guess a 10 cent animation budget had run out by this point. So our heroes are doomed. Yay! We get to watch this pink abomination of nature cut to pieces. Though, as if to give one final middle finger to the director, even her death cries sounded unconvincing. <laughs> A Car's Life is the most disastrous dump on an already bad movie I've ever seen. Thank you. Oddly enough though, I actually kind of recommend it. It's only 40 minutes, but it truly has to be seen to be believed. I recommend you check it out with a friend and have a few quick laughs. We used to get these mockbusters a lot back in the day. But I think it's important to clarify, every single one of these studios went bankrupt. The odd thing is that a lot of these movies didn't fool grandmas. And besides, these mockbusters show just how high our standards for animation are nowadays. Many of us are trying harder than ever to give the next generation the best cartoons possible. And I think that really shows. Yeah. Do you think I missed a bad animated mockbuster? If you have an opinion, feel free to leave it in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't even talk the entire video. Almost. This is a feeling. Yeah. I want to... This is... How was it? Only be described in word word. Guess what it is? Huh? Only be can, it can only be described in one word. Guess what it is? Cancerous. Now you got it. Yeah. Rat up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he already.
He already mentioned that in a in a top ten of his top ten worst animated movies. Yeah. So, was it good? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for suffering with us. Yeah. Uh. For whatever reason, why why would you do this? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll give you a better one next time. Uh, don't trust me! It'll probably be by the same guy, but it'll, be, it'll most likely be a top 10 best list. You hate this guy, don't you? You know, honestly, I don't watch a lot of him. Well, you're going to, and you're gonna like it. Ugh. Bitch. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I don't know why you would enjoy this cancerous shit. Don't you not not, not not the YouTuber, I mean the animations. Just to calm your ass down. The big girls on the floor. Hope you all enjoy this. Thank you all so much for joining us. You just said that! Uh this is very. This, this, is getting this video, first off, this video is just, just blowing me away. But the guy himself isn't so bad. He is not bad. The animations and the bootlegs and stuff are just shit. Mock busts. Doesn't matter. Video, video game ripoffs are bootlegs. I said, I said mock busters. No, no, you I, didn't. <laughs> So click the link and subscribe, share it with friends and family on Facebook, and Twitter to help the channel grow. Okay. Why would they watch this? Because it's cancerous. You're spreading cancer. I'm not spreading anything. You told people to watch this. I didn't tell them you anything. Told, you, told, you told them they, to Okay, share. first off. No, I'm, they, I'm done. They Bye. saw Goodbye. it. They no, no, saw shut up. Stop leaving. No, listen. No, no, no. I, no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> No, Stop I'm, I'm going, I'm Stop going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Screw you, screw you, I'm okay. going, I'm going away. First of all, people saw this and their subscriptions, and they clicked on the Thank video, so for watching. they clicked on the video, and now they have whatever they have. A boner? <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm done here. I'm sorry. I got. I'm sorry. I gotta leave here. I'm sorry. I got. I have to. Is he gone? I think he went to Walmart. Brennan, are you home? Brennan? Doctor? Now I, can, now I can continue my search for his anime porn. Oh, man. Everybody is.